Hey, what's up all my fellow BMW enthusiasts? Today we're back with part 13 of the E39 M5 wagon build. Um, today we're gonna be working on the fuel system, getting the 540 fuel pump and filter out, and then our new M5 assembly installed. We're also gonna be hopefully installing the fuel rail and then getting most of the harness installed on the engine as well. So that way we can move closer and closer to getting this thing started. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot of cool plans for this E39 M5 wagon, but I also just love working on these cars. And if you enjoy some good quality BMW content, then you're gonna wanna tag along. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and without further ado, let's get started. So now I'm gonna give you a rundown of the 540i fuel system, which I have laid out here on the ground, and the M5 fuel system, which is loaded on the car already. So here's the factory lines for the 540i. You've got your fuel feed and your fuel return. This is the factory 540i fuel filter. And then you've got the lines. This is gonna be your feed line, which goes over to this blue line, which you can't actually see. You're only gonna be able to see the tip where it clamps onto the line here, but that goes to your fuel pump. And then you've got this like auxiliary line for the excess fuel pressure as part of the 540 system. So um, what guys are doing is you have two ways to do this fuel system conversion. And the first way is going to be to reuse most of these lines here, except for this return line right here. But you need to transfer over the M5 fuel pressure regulator because the M5 unit goes up to five bars, whereas the 540i unit goes up to two and a half, three and a half, I believe. Definitely a lower fuel pressure than the M5 requires. So you need to transfer the fuel pump regulator, which is not too hard. You'll see that there's like a clip right here that you pull out and then this unit actually comes off completely and you can just swap a fuel pump regulator from an m5 filter over to this 540 filter and then there you go you've got enough fuel pressure and you've got the correct lines you don't have to do a lot of work you just need to get this replacement 
fuel return line and I think that would have your conversion done. But what we did on this M5 conversion here is we actually went for a full system conversion. So we've got the M5 lines, the feed lines, and then we've got our M5 filter right here and the separate block which has the fuel pressure regulator on it as well as the return line. And what you'll notice is that the M5 system uses all quick disconnects around the filter. So that means that you can replace the filter easily and quicker actually. Um, and the only line that doesn't have a quick disconnect is gonna be the factory return line. So what we did on this conversion is we used as many M5 parts as possible, except for the fuel return, which usually the M5 unit would come a little bit further up and it would use a shorter length of fuel hose here. But on this car right here, since I couldn't get the uh, fuel return disconnected at the back of the car, I just figured that we would use the factory 540 fuel return and just a longer line of fuel hose, which is what we have here. Then we've got the rest of the M5 system all the way to the back. So if you don't convert to the M5 fuel supply line on your 540, what you'll notice is the factory 540 line is a little bit short and you'll have to bend it at a 90 degree angle because the factory 540 pump has a fuel fitting that comes at an angle whereas the M51 is pointed straight up and down. So you need to transfer this line over if you wanna be able to cleanly install your fuel pump. So since we've got the fuel lines correctly installed and routed right here, I think they look really good, even the vacuum line right here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install our fuel rail with our injectors and our harness as well. So check this out. So there you have it everyone. We've got the fuel system installed and part of the wiring harness installed. So I'm gonna try to keep these videos a little bit shorter for you guys so I can post more weekly. If you enjoy the videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, or comment. Really appreciate the feedback and the support from you guys. So stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.